Now, before we get started, this is not a substitute for the printed fitting instructions, and is mandatory that the fitting instructions are read thoroughly several times before going any further. This video is only a general how to assemble and install the side boat loader. Each fitment will differ slightly. The first thing we need to do is measure the boat at its widest point. Transferring this measurement to the instructions, measure and mark the top sliding crossbar. Take the bars to the saw and cut them both. Measure, mark and drill in preparation for the mounting of the worm drive and pillar block. Once that's done, now we need to take the fitting kit SBLK2 and 3 and mount the worm drive and the pillar block to the top sliding crossbars. Ensuring to leave these loose till later on. The next thing we need to do is insert the top sliding slip strips. Insert them and cut them off flush with the end of the bar. Repeating this process with both top sliding crossbars. OK, now we need to take the SBLK6 and assemble the underslung brackets. Taking the swing arm, placing the bolt through the hole, down up through the lever, connecting that up and snapping the bolt into place. Once that's done, insert the pins into the underslung bracket and lock it off like so. Insert the mounting hardware and repeat this process to the other three underslung brackets in the kit. Slide the underslung brackets on the underside of the top sliding crossbars setting them to the measurements supplied in the instructions and tighten them there. Repeat this process to the other three underslung brackets in the kit. Now we need to assemble and install the ramp hook connectors. Take the plate and tap it into the ramp hook connector ensuring that the holes line up. Place a block of timber on the ground. This will ensure you don't damage the worm drive when inserting the ramp hook connector. Place the ramp hook connector into place. Another block of timber helps not to snap the ends off the ramp hook connector. Tap it into place and insert the hardware supplied. Insert the end caps. Repeat this process to the other top sliding bar. Now what we need to do is assemble the bridge supports. Take a larger half of the bridge support clamp and insert the hardware like so. Once that's done, take the smaller half of the bridge support clamp and insert it into the larger half connecting the two with the hardware like so. Ensuring to leave all the hardware loose for later fitment. Repeat this process to the other three bridge support assemblies. Take the kit SBLK1-HW and the ramps. Cut the slip strip off flush with the end of the ramp and insert the hardware supplied for the eye bolts. Once that's secure, insert the ramped curved piece and secure that with the four screws supplied. Repeating this process to both ramps. 